Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today we're here with a playing some with some more of a Pat's uh, scraps because yeah, they're just gorgeous and we 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 just need to do it. Um, and I thought I haven't done an envelope journal in a while, so I'd like to do one again because I love them. So I've got I've just picked a handful of envelopes. How many did you get? Two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 um, because I want to do very similar to the one that I did before where we add loads of like extra little bits and pieces to it and yeah so that's what we're going to start off with so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start gluing all of these together okay just like so um, so there's that one okay and um, and I always like to have three sort of going across. So, and there is that one. Okay, so we've got those in. And then that's going to fold up like that. Now, I want to add, because before we had it so that, we ha it was like a book. So let's do that again. So I'm just going to glue this on like this, okay, just like that, and I am going to, um, let me see, and then I'm going to glue this one on here like that, so I'm just trying to, I'm hoping it works, um, yeah we want this closed down I think, but let's just stick it down. Let's move this bit out of the way so you don't get confused. So we've got those two glued together. Now this one's going to get glued on the inside because we're, we're going to be making a book style. So let's glue that on there. So it's like that. And then as you can see, you can open them. Um, we're going to add another one. So because this will make our book. Okay. And don't worry about all these seams because this is what we're going to be covering with our scraps and our paper. So there we have that. Okay. Now, um, I won't, no, I think we'll leave that as is. Um, but what I am, I think what I am going to do, let's have a look. So, yeah, where's our book? Right. I'm going to glue that onto the back. So, onto our back piece, like this. I'm wondering whether to glue that onto there, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I'm not sure how it's going to close yet, but let's just trust the process. So, that's just going to go on there. So, we close over like that and then like that drill <clears throat> so we've got so essentially we've got a book so we could have it this way where you've got bits that um you know you can see and then we've got this bit that opens out like that which i am loving now i think i want to do maybe the same we have another little book here so let's get these glued together so I'm just going to pop some glue down here and if you've got a huge stash of envelopes I mean you can use um, used envelopes for this quite easily um, it's definitely a really good way of using it up right okay so there's that now I want another piece yeah we're going to just glue this bit on here so it's like a, a folio really so like that so that's going to go there um now i'm wondering what i'm wondering is do i stick this in here okay like that <clears throat> and have it so that that all opens up and then inside there, I will have to put zinc on there before we stick it down. We have that as a pocket. Or do I have it so that 
it's just it's all stuck down and it just opens I think you know what I'm just going to have it all stuck down uh, because I think there's going to be a lot going on that it might end up being a bit too bulky so let's stick all of that down onto there like so and then we're just going to pop some glue down on this flap here and then that is just going to slide into there like so there we go right so then to close it up right so that might be an issue so that can close up in there perfect that can go in there and I might do it that way actually so we've got it so this is what we've got let's have a look we've got our book at the front looks very complex okay then um we open it up and yeah this is no that's not the way i want it i might have to move this part because there's the book maybe actually you know what i think i need to do um because it's there we go right let's re put that down i'm just redoing there we go right that's better so i'm redoing the um the spine of this one so that comes out a lot more let me just get my bone fold up so that folds over now lovely there and then this piece here is going to be our wrap around so it opens up like this okay this is probably going to be so confusing but yeah it opens up like this uh, this bit is a book as you can see and then this piece here is a book as well and then this bit wraps around so very complicated but have a play with your envelopes just put them like just start gluing them rand randomly like i have done and see what you can do with it because uh, i think it can be quite fun now what we're going to do is i've got all these gorgeous scrap bits of cardstock um so i'm just going to grab those ones out and a few other bits and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab the scraps and i am going to start gluing them down so um yeah to make them look really pretty now i'm going to work out um how many bits i need actually some to go together because i want them so that they do go nicely together but I, I mean i like it so that we've got some of the craft showing as well um yeah we can have that piece oh, oh look at that that is gorgeous i think we definitely need to add that in somewhere this one can definitely go in somewhere as well as this one um i'm looking more for like let's move these so that bit should fit on somewhere as well as that actually i think all of them there right perfect that was just my scoreboard okay so i'm going to cut down um because i know i'm going to cut everything down to four and three quarters by um six and three quarters because apart from this bit that is the size that i would like it because i would like that border because these are five by seven um five by seven envelopes so if i just cut everything down by four and three quarters by six and three quarters then yeah we, we can just sort of go from there so that's what i'm going to do <clears throat> okay and it's a really good way of using up scraps things like this now if we don't we're not going to have enough um so we're going to do strips and we'll add like two strips onto each one um so i'm just going to this isn't completely straight so there we go um and we're just going to keep going until 
we've got quite a bit um, on this piece. Okay. I think all of these bits and then we'll glue them down into our journal and we'll sort of work from there. But um, like I say, it's really, really good to sort of um, hopefully you see it as a good idea for creating. Oh, that's just um, creating something with your scraps. Now, I'm not worried if they are... Um, but like got any creases in because they will come out now my plan is to probably cover that piece up so I might do it with this actually this bit of green um, let's do it. so like for instance that can go on there um, And then that piece um, can go along the top of that bit. I'm just sort of going to go like that. Hi, Lucy. Hey, um, Just like that. So um, I've got two left to cut down. I'll do that just off camera now. Um, and I will be back. Right, okay, we're back. Right, I've uh, done a few other little bits as well, so I'm not sure if we're going to have, like, how many we've got, but definitely should have enough. So I am just going to randomly start sticking these down. <laughs> bye bye, gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to randomly start sticking these down and see where we go with it. Yeah. And I think these two would be perfect for the cover of the two books. So let's do that. Um, Lucy's just brought me Lady because she's been a bit of a git. Um, so hopefully Lady will just go in her bed. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, Lucy unfortunately has had the cold that I've had. I saw a poor little thing. Um, oh, I like that on there. So as you can see, I'm just going sort of through and seeing what looks nice where and yeah just decorating it up but there's lots and lots of stuff right this i planned because it isn't long enough i did it so that i stuck that down uh, lady in your bed like this um this lady's going to stay with me whether she likes it or not. There we go. Oh, look at that. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to sort of do this, really. Um, this piece as well. I love playing with scraps, I have to say. Um, I love the possibilities of what you can actually do with them. Okay. Now... I've just come across another bit like that. So we've got that, that. So on this back bit, I'm going to have this piece. Okay. Because then at least the outside all sort of matches. And that's one thing I have to say. Um, Pat's scraps are gorgeous. They, they go perfectly together. Right, this piece... Um, go on this bit so it's going to go there because again um, it sort of matches nicely and then for that bit I'm going to put for this bit here I'm going to put this bit of card just because this raises up so this will just make it easier to write on okay so there's that so that's our first book and actually I really like how that looks so this is the second book so let's have a look um, again we've got some lovely pieces I mean I've got this bit here I didn't quite cut that down very well so let's do that okay so yeah she's getting in a bed now which is awesome yeah she 
little coat. Like I said, Lucy's a coolie. Um, and she said she's getting on my nerves. <laughs> but she, uh, Lady can be very demanding. Very demanding at times. Okay, I like that. I'm going to stick with the pinks and the purples for this one. So I think I'm going to go with this colour. But we're going to have this glued down because I don't want a flap there. Okay. Just like I say, I think there's enough on this um, for us. Um, I mean, we've got a tuck spot there. Um, and then got in theory we've got two tuck spots here but I am going to pop this darker colour across here and actually get rid of this tuck spot so we're keeping some of them but we're getting rid of some as well okay right so there's that one so that's that book done um now we do have these side bits as well to decorate um Let's have a look, I think. Yeah, so every, everywhere is done that I wanted doing. However, we I did want inside the box to be done. I'm going to keep that one as a tuck spot, but I'm going to get rid of this tuck spot. And you can keep as many tuck spots as you wish with this. Okay, so there we go. There's that. Keep that tuck spot and keep that tuck spot and then in this one i'm going to keep that one we'll get rid of this one okay so let's stick that down oh i like that i like the gradients of the pinks um and we're going to get i'm going to get rid of this one as well um, and actually I'm going to put this B paper down because it's absolutely gorgeous and it needs to be used so we're going to do that right okay so that is that now we have got left so let's have a look to see how many tuck spots we've got left we've got one two three four five perfect absolutely perfect so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go through the scraps um and we're going to go with let's see what there's in here so for instance we've got this pit bit because i want it so that it doesn't cover so i'll probably cut it down there yeah so we'll have that one there oh i like this one um it doesn't quite go on that one but it will go on that one so that can be on there um Let's have a look. What else do we have in this bit? Um, oh, that. Have we got a bigger bit? Mm. Oh, we've got loads of bits over here. Oh, really nice. So maybe we could have that bit there. And again, I'll cut a little bit off. And then we need something on this one, which would actually look nice with this one more I think so let me just cut this down so, um, so I'm going to do it uh, three and three quarters by five and three quarters no six and three quarters sorry yeah and then that's going to stick there so I'm just going to put it around there because this is staying as a tuck spot and then we're going to stick that on okay which on there so there's that one and then we do have this one as well which actually i'm going to bring in this here so yep yeah. i'm just going to put some glue around there and then like so Okay, and stick that down again we're having it so that we can yeah see that that is a tuck spot now this piece oh yeah this one mm. now that is so what we've done now is we've just covered where we wanted to cover it um so we have just you know given us just yeah 
um, so we have decorated it just using bits of scraps that were sort of left over um, and it's just come together and you can sort of see how it's coming together lovely now. Now I'm going to get cut this down um, as well. Okay, let's move this a minute and then move all of these. Oh, we need to cut that bit down as well. Um, actually, I'm thinking maybe, yeah, I'm going to swap it. Okay, so let's get glue on, like so. And there we have it. And then let's cut this one down. Oh, not quite enough, but just slightly shorter. So, however, it will it will be fine. And then we're just going to go around like so, and then stick that down. Okay, so that's the majority of it done. I'll just put some more glue on that corner. There we go. So that is it, more or less than so all of these bits here are writing spaces. Um, so we've got here as well. So basically I've just attached two books to it and then we roll it over. Um, I'm just going to pop a line of glue along here um, so that it rolls over with it. Um, yeah. Although I, th I am thinking with this one, I might put a spine on it actually, um, just so that it uh, keeps it um, quite strong. So let's see what we've got. Oh, I like that, but I'm thinking maybe this one. Although we've, it's got, I'm just going to put that bit off and then cut. I do three inches at six and three quarters. Perfect. Yeah, we can definitely use this as our spine. You know what? I really like this with love. So now I'm thinking I'm going to change it. And yeah, let's change it because I quite like that that with love has, has been on the spine. So let's do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pop glue all the way along like this. Make sure we've got plenty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick this on flat. I'm going to have it so that that with love is where that fold is going to be. So when it sits on your shelf, it's going to look gorgeous. Okay, let's get my own folder and really squidge that down. Okay, yeah. And then now when you fold it over, we've got an absolutely gorgeous spine for our piece. Really like that. Yeah, I'm pleased to do that. I think I'm going to do the same here as well, but the only downside is we might lose that. So I don't, no, let's leave it. Um, yeah let's leave it because I don't want to ruin it okay right so that's that done now what we want to do is I'm going to get all of these bits of paper because we don't want to use these bits anymore um, although I mean we could we can use some of these to make our cards so I'm going to yeah let's take a few little bits out um, but all these bits I'm just going to put back in here um, I've got other plans to have a play with these scraps. I'm hoping, guys, that, you know, um, me playing with scraps and, and coming up with different ideas, I'm hoping it helps to encourage you guys to do exactly the same, to get your scraps out, have a play, and see what you can make as well. Um, oh, that would have been lovely. But, yeah, there's just... Oh, so many beautiful, beautiful bits of paper in here. I mean, the majority of it is Paper Boutique, which is oh, 
so beautiful um absolutely love it lucy has by the way pat if you are watching this lucy has already taken a couple of paper pads off me um she is taking after her mum. um she saw the autumn paper pad uh that goes with this one and she stole it because yeah that's my girl right <laughs> okay let's i've just seen these so i'm going to cut these down uh, let's try that again okay i need a new trimmer so i'm hoping i have asked husband for one because this trimmer is yeah it started feathering and i know people keep saying about using tin foil tin foil actually dulls your blade more um because it is a metal it's not the best way to actually sharpen your tools is with sandpaper um but yeah tin foil is not the way to go when sharpening your tools it just blunts them i mean it, it give you it might work for like one or two but yeah not not a uh, do not recommend tin foil at all um but definitely recommend sandpaper um but <clears throat> i mean there must be a way this has been so abused i don't think it just feathers every now and again so and then i've got like what i can i'm assuming i don't know what that is i mean it's coming off but yeah so i've asked my husband for a new trimmer um just a nice a nice new shiny one um but don't get me wrong i'll keep this one so i will use this for um yeah like um cardboard and things like that right okay um i do have where did i put them they're here uh so in these ones oh there's the cards that i made for the collab how gorgeous are those they need to go in the box for um what do you call it for when i i do orders yeah absolutely beautiful cards right okay um let's have a look now we have got some like i said some really nice pretty things in here so i'm going to get a selection of stuff out um and we're just going to go for it and see what we can do because it'd be really nice if we can use some of these bits and pieces up that uh that we have here um so that is our plan right i like them oh, i'm gonna cut them down because we could definitely use them i like that so right okay and then in here is just sentiments um we've got like on your special day i've used most of the sentiment clusters and um, i did i use them in i'm gonna say how many cards or it may have been a stash but it was some sort of stash bus busting but yeah um so we've got like different things in here um oh, good times and crazy friends make the best memories oh i love it i want that one in uh today and always is really nice you have my heart forever uh the best gift is friendship yeah just some beautiful scents in here absolutely gorgeous another reason why i love paper boutique uh you are you are my happy place loved you yesterday love you still always have and always will oh so beautiful yeah i really like these um okay i think i like those three so we're gonna oh i like that as well may all your wishes come true um and then family isn't family isn't an important thing it's in everything oh so nice so nice i need to like yeah i can't stay here forever <laughs> you will forever be my always birthday celebrations yeah just like i said some beautiful beautiful anything is possible with oh i like that as well right okay <clears throat> right um let's have a look so oh no it's that way i was gonna say oh i quite like how that opens that way but yeah it's this way um oh well shame that however it will fit on there perfectly because i do think that is lovely um and it just i don't know it i just feel like it needs to go there it needs to be so it is so we're just going to push that down with that glue to 
tick there we go loving it um now like i said it really is now just seeing what oh, I like that um what we can do to sort of decorate this up so when you've got like little scraps and bits to hand it really does like i said it just makes life so much easier i mean that is beautiful isn't it just you know for that back page now this is our front cover um so i'm gonna put this one on so this one says the best gift is a friendship um so i'm gonna put that in there and then oh i've got one of my butterflies i'm just gonna put that there oh that was a happy accident it being on my table okay so there's that love that now like here instantly i'm liking maybe one of these for it um because yeah i just think oh how gorgeous does that look yeah I, do you know what i'm i'm leaning towards this one um although we could have with oh they're all gorgeous oh why is it so hard I like that one that one right let's just just stick it down Don. stick it down right so that's what we're going to do because this is uh yeah this is the start of the other cover so that's why i'm sort of making sure um and then i'm going to use this one so that's the best gift is friendship and then this one is good times and crazy friends that make the best memories and that isn't straight i can tell it's not straight and that would annoy the life out of me there we go so let's stick this one on here um yeah i mean if you do follow along and you are making this with me yours is not going to be the same because it's all going to depend on what scraps that you have um so it will all depend on your scraps i mean how nice with oh that there is a belly band oh oh i like it but um oh i like it on there too no that could be ferrated this could be so i am just going to do it as if it's a belly band i probably won't put anything in it but i think the option is there um if we wish to and then no i don't want that on let's have a look Oh, I like that. I think that looks really nice and brings this page. It stops it from looking dull. So it was just it. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't sort of. Yeah, wasn't happy with it. Shall we say? Um, let's have a look. Oh, oh yeah. I like that as well. Oh, gorgeous. See, sometimes things are just, they're just meant to be. Right, okay, so, oh, love that. Yeah, love, love, love it. Um, perfect. Now, I want to do, so put something in them, but you know what I'm thinking of doing? These gorgeous pieces here, having them as our journaling cards. So, like, because, I mean, how nice because this is going to end up being a gift but how nice would they be just in there um and because i i've not done anything to the back of them they have um you can write on the back if you wish to do so or you can use them in your own crafting um so i quite like the idea of that okay so there's one and yeah i just think that it'll, it'll be really nice i'm just going to cut this down a little bit more okay and this bit there we go so that one and then i'm thinking maybe that one as well for this piece because we've got the daffodils are within this book itself so there's that now do i want to put anything on these oh, looks lovely really nice oh, look at they all look nice yep 
Oh, like it. Um, mm, yeah, I'm liking this one. This is the one that is screaming out to me. So that's going to go there, like that. Okay. Um, now I want something to go in these ones. Again, I am going to grab some of these. And then we're just gonna there's that one that one and <coughs> excuse me and this one okay there we go right okay so that's them in there now for the other book although that is that book so this bit goes in here uh, so for the other book oh yes what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the cards to go in so this one we put like ephemera bits in whereas this this book we're not going to do that we're going to oh I like that I like that a lot there we go so that book's finished so on this book we're actually going to make the ephemera to go inside so we're going to make those journaling cards so I've got it um actually I've got a couple of pieces here we're going to do four by five so four by five yeah um let's do this one as well um five by four I'm not sure how many we need but if I do three that should definitely be enough um right okay so I want something on here um so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with this one uh, which says may all your wishes come true like that no just here I have one of my clear sunflower stickers so I'm gonna just stick that on because it was meant to be right okay let's get rid of all of these little little bits and pieces right okay so we've done that and then let's have a look okay i think yeah i'm gonna have this one in here so let's let's have a look what we can do with oh i like that that can go on it somewhere um Oh, I like that a lot. We have got some other beautiful bits. For instance, that which I'm really liking. So let's stick that down. I'm gonna make sure we've got a nice border. I'm not having it even, so I've got it quite thick. And then I'm gonna stick this piece down because it's just really pretty and lacy. Oh, and look at that. There's a fussy cut flower, so let's stick that on. And then I do have this today and always, which I'm really liking as well. And it's as simple as that. How gorgeous! I've got glue all over my hands. Has that turned out? How amazing is that? So really liking that. So that one's going to go in there. And like you say, it is clear on the back, so whoever gets this can journal. Now let me just see if I can. So I've just realised I'm not quite in camera, so I'm so sorry about that. Um, I've only just realised. Okay, so there's that one. And then we've got... So these are fine. Uh, do I want to add anything onto them? Oh, I'm liking that. So I think... Let's have a look. No. I don't think we do. Um, it's always always nice to sort oh yes i do i want to have that <laughs> that's why it's always nice to have a look because every now and again you know even though i said no i don't that we have but yeah it just brings that together absolutely gorgeous there's no more there so we've actually only got one more tuck spot um which is really nice oh do i want that anywhere no i don't right so that book's finished so the two books are finished with the um tuck spots we've got this tuck spot here and i think that's it so it has gone very quickly now i'm going to use this 
yeah okay we're gonna do that now I've got this piece that has already been mounted um I've got love 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 oh that just looks stunning um Oh, I love how that looks too. So I'm just going to put it down. Actually, just going to cut the two end bits off and hold it. It's enough. Yep. And then let's cut this down. Uh, stick this down. Sorry. But absolutely loving how that looks there. Wow. Oh beautiful and then on this one um yeah not sure actually if there's something um i mean we could just put with love which i think yeah let's just pop with love like so okay and then that is gonna sit in there i mean i, I feel like almost I should have done the purple one but that was I might do two I might make another this one because this is the one that I wanted to do as well and we'll put two in there okay again keeping it quite simple oh if it was that would have looked nice but yeah um Happy Valentine's Day. Um, let's have a look. Oh, every story is beautiful, but ours is my favourite. Um, someone special. Oh, it's not. It's not going to be for a birthday. Oh. Uh, we've already got that one. I think I'm just going to keep it simple with best wishes again. So we've got with love and then this one is best wishes. So just very simple. Um, I mean, you don't really have to put words. Actually, I should have got my own words out, but I really wanted to use scrap. So that's going to go in there just because I feel like it goes really, really well with that. Um, so it doesn't, I feel like I haven't made a dent at all on the goodies, um, which is awesome because it means I get to play even more. Um, yeah, which I'm absolutely loving. So these are the bits that I've got left. Um, I'm going to come on and do a few more videos with them and then um, we'll probably do like a how many cards or something with it. Uh, this is looking gorgeous. Now the one thing I would like is some ribbons. So I've got some ribbon here. I'm just going to go with this white and we're just going to cut a big chunk off. Um, where did I put my scissors? There they are. So just cutting a chunk of ribbon off and then that is just easily oh i tell you what we could do with putting something on here because that just looks so plain and yeah not very invite oh i like it yeah right just don't even overthink it so let's glue that down um like I said, just needed a little something on there. It was just too plain. Right, okay. So then the ribbon will wrap around. Now, I'm not going to wrap the ribbon around because we're going to have a quick scan through before I go. And, yeah, so you can see what we have done in today's, um, today's video. So I have to say, loving it. Right, okay, so this is the cover. We open it up. You've got, um, this is the back of it. And then we've got our two books. So we have this one with our tuck spot, um, journaling space, tuck spot with journaling space, another tuck spot, more journaling space. And then that closes up like that. Then we've got a next book and we've got a tuck spot all nicely decorated. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that is the cover. I made it as if there was a second cover. Oh, well, um, lots of journaling space here. Um, and then we have a tuck spot just in here and then yep 
and then that's it so and then that is our back and that is the spine so all I'm going to do now is just grab my ribbon and tie that around like so and there it is all ready to gift out now what you could do if you wished to which I think I might do is I want to glue this ribbon down so I am simply going to grab this and I'm going to glue it on the back with that ribbon so that that ribbon will never will, will always be attached to this so just making sure to put plenty of glue down um, and that just means that the ribbon's not going to it's something I personally like to do it's not something that you have to do um, but it is something that I personally do and it goes perfectly with this so yeah so now that means that will always be on the journal and it's not going to go anywhere so if I undo this as you can see that is not going to go anywhere so it's just going to be really nice and it makes for easier tying as well so let's tie this up like this um i am going to cut this down just a touch because i do think it is a little bit too long um and but i am going to leave you guys there um i hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing how this come together just by grabbing a bunch of envelopes some scraps and seeing what we could create um i love it i hope you do too and I will see you guys in the next video very soon. But until then, please do take care and happy crafting. Bye.